All right, boom, welcome back to Challenge Yourself. I appreciate your time. Like, subscribe, most importantly, pay attention. All right, so the challenge for this week is called Birds of a Feather. We all know the saying, birds of a feather flock together. And I'm sure we know exactly what it means. You are the company you keep. Simple and plain. That's another saying for you. Damn, I'm good at that. So with that being said, throughout this episode, I want you to analyze that company you keep and ask yourself, are they beneficial to your road to success? Yes, ladies and gents, because in this episode of Challenge Yourself, I'm here to show you five types of people to be around that will make you successful. Okay, so first and foremost, what is your definition of success? I mean, is it power? Is it money? Is it ambition? Most importantly, is it positive success? Before going any further, I want you to personally narrow down what you define as genuine success. One thing we know for sure is, no one becomes successful alone. We have friends, we have family that support us through our trials and tribulations. Some of us are even in business with our family and friends. And I'm not here to tell you to do otherwise. If it's friends and family that make you successful, then it's friends and family you should keep around. You see, there's all types of different people that you need in your life to help you achieve success, depending on your definition of it. And the beautiful thing about being with like-minded people in regards to success is that if they become successful, you become successful and vice versa, whether that's profiting monetarily, physically, or mentally. Number one, spend time with people who inspire you. Now, that's either through example or someone that you know you could call and they always have the best advice. There's always that friend or relative that you can call that always gives you that type of feedback that either motivates you or pisses you off because you know they're right in regards to what suggestion or advice they're giving you. These are the type of people that always keep a positive outlook on life, even when circumstances aren't favorable for them, which is why you're reaching out to them for inspiration. These are the people you should gravitate towards. Like anything else in life, positivity and the methods of strengthening it can be contagious. The closer you are, the more infected. Okay, and number two, be around people who strive for high levels of success. Surround yourself with people who show you new heights and most importantly, encourage and believe that you can reach them too. You never thought you could be a business owner. Well, I bet that perception of impossibility would change if you hung around business owners because if they consider you a friend, they will lend their experience to you. Surround yourself with people who raise the bar on your thinking on what's possible and what's maybe impossible. What I've come to realize is that the world can be a very small place when there's nothing to push your boundaries of thought, perception, and action. Now, if you look around and you do not see these people close to you, it's more than likely you have not been seeking them out or you are intentionally avoiding them. Okay, so number three, be around people who just love life. These are the people who just have a positive outlook and most importantly, attitude towards life. It's not all about work. Their take is work hard, play hard. They may have had a near-death experience that have them looking at life differently or had a rough upbringing. Either way, you always see them smiling and walking around as if the world is in their hands. You see, people like that enable us to think beyond the job or our general outlook on life. That type of inspiration is what turns followers into leaders. Okay, so number four, be around good people like genuinely good people. Not people who say they're good, they act as such. And everybody knows it as an unspoken thought. As hard as it may be, try to surround yourself around people who don't put profit over people in the name of success. Because sooner or later, you'll be doing the same thing. And we all know these people. These are people who are just naturally good to others without seeking any gratification. And they come in all shapes and sizes, from managers to CEOs who see themselves in the same playing field of success as their low-ranking employee. That's who I want to be around, and you should too. The folks that make you successful are the people with the big hearts that inspire you to do more in your life. Okay, so number five, I feel is the most important tip. Be around people who challenge you. The people who challenge you are probably the most powerful in your network. You don't have all the answers, they've got all the tough questions. Sometimes we get frustrated because we didn't think of those tough questions before them. Either way, be grateful these people are in your life just for that reason alone. 
One of the main reasons why we get frustrated with people or things that challenge us because they are stretching the boundaries of what we know or what we think we know. One thing is for sure is meeting that challenge might take you to a level that you might have never attained. All right, so this is the challenge of the week, birds of a feather. You follow these steps and I guarantee you they will lead you closer to your definition of genuine success. Good luck. All right, folks, I'll see y'all next week. Peace.